new sewing machine arrived. So let me go get it. I have tripods, but I am too lazy to like get it. So basically, my old sewing machine stopped working. I've had this old sewing machine. Let me go grab it. So basically, I've had this Singer sewing machine since 2013, 2012. No, 2013. Miss Mary at so it was a secretary and my guidance counselor in my old school because I switched high school to my senior year. But basically, um, junior year while I was still in my old high school, she was like asking me what I wanted to study and I told her fashion but didn't have a sewing machine. And she was so amazing to give me the sewing machine. So I, I cherish it so much and it has so many like memories. And because it's almost been a decade using the sewing machine that at first I was just like, it broke this part here does not move at all i think it has to do something with the hand wheel and like the elastic that moves around i got the singer one <laughs> i didn't break it yeah <laughs> okay can i just admit that so many things have been breaking for me i know i am unboxing my sewing the this new sewing machine but i also have to get a new ironing board um my flat iron i can't use it anymore because like it was underneath the bathroom sink and some cleaning chemicals got on it and my camera also fell on the floor so just so many things have been broken with my slippery hands but it's just like <sighs> and the sewing machine broke but got this new one super blessed and happy and i'll go back to the unboxing before i rattle on i'm one of those people that has to take this off right away all about lifestyle sustainable living i'm gonna show you guys how i am discarding my plastic those people that does not read the manual but this machine is so complicated <laughs> It's not so 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 complicated, but I'm I'm gonna need to like figure out how to do this. But it it does tell me really good things about like protein and how to adjust the basting. And each stitch has a name. How cool would that be if I could actually remember each name of the hundred and sixteen stitches that it does? things my mom when she saw this got so excited but how can you not get excited with all these different stitches and especially letters this is this is what got me super excited it's just seeing all the different letters of the alphabet that i can make like i can customize clothing with all these stitches whoa she's heavy what should i name my new sewing machine Wow, I wish you could smell it because it smells new. Ah, this is, I bought it also because it has this extended, extended table. Uh, I am so excited to use it. Came with all these different slots, uses, and then look. Okay, whenever I watch like sewing tutorials and read them and I see when they use this like self-cutting, I'm like, oh, that is so cool. I want my machine to do that. Wait, my cousin, my cousin is calling me as I unwrap this so that let's let's get him in the video. Let's get him in the call. Hey Alberto. Hi. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Oh god, no, you're making a video? Yeah, I'm unwrapping my new my new sewing machine and I'm showing them. Like, in the middle of, of opening it right now? Yeah. Do you want to see it? L let me show you, it looks so cool. This is how fast I read. No, it's not. <laughs> so, so, so much. And I really believe, stars, that you will too. Mmm. And as I eat my chocolate, as you guys know, I'm all about a sustainable lifestyle and how to implement that in my lifestyle. And so recently, in, in Good Housekeeping for me, they talk about what the different numbers in plastic means. 
And this is such like a great way of showing you guys what I try to do to figure out how to take plastics and get them out of the house in a proper way. Meaning that whatever comes inside our house or outside of our house is placed in a location where it's properly recycled. And reading from their article, I learned that the different numbers in plastic is a symbol and each symbol means something as to like how to discard of it how to get rid of this item now that i'm unwrapping this and i recently learned this i really wanted to like incorporate it in this vlog to show you guys so i'll make sure i'll make sure to i'll check it in their website if they have like a link to this chart but basically in our plastic containers it has a little number for instance here this one says two so this two tells you how to discard of this plastic and then in this one that's a different plastic it has a number four so what i want to show you guys in my day to day like day in the life and vlog is how i try to really just like incorporate these principles in my day to day so then my routines if in, that you see in these videos can help you and help you like implement them at home too so then our home ways and the ways that we're creating at home can be properly discarded and placed in the, in the accurate locations where they should be because it's it's all about systems and applying these systems in our day-to-day -day routines so we can not just like help the environment but even ourselves like we won't be surrounded by so much unnecessary things around us see so then everything has to be done with a curbside pickup or curbside program and then i read this and then i'm wondering does my town even have a curbside pickup and then the question i ask myself then do i create seven different trash trash cans for each different plastic that is my next question that i'm going to try to figure out for, for for myself and for you guys so you can know the answer to this as well wait my grandma's calling okay this, okay i'm gonna have to pick up the call and talk to my grandparents you guys know how much family oh wait my my mom's talking to her my family is so important to me so i always like shut off the the, phone, the camera right away but my my mom's talking to my grandma right now so i'll quickly finish this off and then and then come back that's the whole gist and idea guys for the planet <laughs> Hasta luego. i'll be back guys probably i'll talk and then figure out what to eat next because i'm hungry 24 7 i'm thinking about food i go to bed thinking about what i'm gonna have for breakfast that's just the kind of person i am because i love food even exercising is just so i know i can just eat like no no nah, nah, nah. i was gonna say seven burgers that's dramatic the truth is like two burgers <laughs> ciao